Hi, my name's Phil. I like talking about politics and in this video I'd like to discuss yet another British company which is abandoning Britain and focusing its investment in the US and the EU because Brexit has made expansion plans in the UK impossible for them. And this is happening with a lot of companies. So what makes this one so special? Well, as we look to an industrial future in new technology, this is the only British company in existence. In fact, it's the only company completely outside of China in existence, which supplies the raw materials. But first, if you'd like to be notified of daily news and politics, please subscribe to the channel. So less common metals is not just a rare beast, which is no pun. It is unique in being the only British company to produce rare earth metals. As I say, it's actually the only company completely outside of China to do so. And these are essential materials for the development of modern technology, something we can scarcely do without as we prepare for the new industrial revolution, which the US, China and the EU are already racing ahead with. You know, this is a, a revolution that our current government are blindly resistant. The US, EU, China running at this full steam ahead if you'll pardon the expression. But British Conservatives are actively talking about focusing on the internal combustion engine. Why are we messing about with this electric car nonsense? The internal combustion engine is the way. And, and gas burning power plants. In fact, never mind gas, they want to go back to coal. And the reason isn't because they've got no vision. I mean, it's true, they don't have vision, but that's not the reason. It's simply that they are paid handsomely by the oil companies and their derivatives. It's what happens when you've got a political party driven entirely and explicitly by self-interest, with the national interest an unnecessary luxury. People who think Gordon Gecko was the good guy. Less Common Metals is described in the Financial Times as being one of only two companies outside of China able to produce rare earth metals and alloys, yet Brexit has blocked their expansion plans in Britain. As the managing director said, we have to have a foothold in Europe. Expanding into the US market, that's obvious. That would have happened with or without Brexit. The, the Biden's inflation reduction plan means lots of spending on new green technology. Rare earth metals are going to be needed in large quantities. And of course, the US want to prioritize non-Chinese sources. And well, if you're the only company in the world that is technically a non-Chinese source, then you have massive expansion potential into the US. So that would be with or without Brexit. But Europe is pursuing a similar agenda in response to the US. The EU is also keen to challenge China's market share. But were it not for the hard Brexit, this company would have carried on as normal and it would have expanded in the UK, entirely in the UK. There was no need for it to expand in the EU to meet the new demand. In the article, it's revealed that the government actually funded a feasibility study a couple of years ago to see if we could set up a rare earth permanent magnet supply chain here in order to like provide supplies for electric motors and so on. The answer was no. It's too hard to get contracts with EU-based manufacturers now. And in order for them to expand, they would have needed guaranteed sales in the EU. And EU manufacturers are looking at it and going, well, we're not sure that you can reliably supply us from there. So instead of expanding in the UK, which is what would have happened without the extreme Tory Brexit, they will now set up inside the EU in order to have easy access to those customers. And as with every example of British business which halts its ex expansion in the UK in favour of the EU, and there have been so many, I remind you of the consequences to us and to the local area. First, it means that good jobs that would have been available in the UK are now offered in another country. The wages and profits will be taxed by another country. That would have gone to the UK Treasury, not now. It would have benefited our balance of trade because without Brexit, these magnets would have been produced in the UK and exported to EU manufacturers. And the businesses would have accessed local services, other businesses which will now not get their business. The depressing impact on GDP is never just about the business itself, it's the other businesses that it would have supported. And these are just the general impacts of closing ourselves off from the continental market that we helped to build, the ones that no matter the nature of the company will apply. 
But when you are literally chasing away investment in the future of manufacturing, it just brings Brexit into sharp focus for how ridiculous and short-sighted it really was. I find it deeply offensive that there are still groups claiming that Brexit has benefited our economy and trade with their made-up figures, when the reality is not just that it hasn't actually helped, it has and continues to harm us. Every business that swaps investment here to investment elsewhere represents more money being spent in someone else's economy, with taxes going to someone else's treasury to fund someone else's public services. Every time the Tories say they can't afford to stop a school or hospital falling down, we should be asking why they could afford to chase away so much investment in the UK then. Because I was reading a different piece in the FT. This was a comment piece, didn't really contain much wisdom within it, but it described Brexit as Britain's therapy. We've gone through a therapy session, that we had this British exceptionalism and, and now most of the population have woken up from it. They've seen that what Brexit's delivered. You know, that we had to go through it to show that we're not different at all, to show that we're not exceptional and that the majority of people in the country now see that. I'm not so sure. Yes, a majority of the country now think Brexit was a bad idea, but I do not believe that the vast majority understand why. They've just seen the outcomes and recognise that those outcomes are bad, but they've not understood. They can't see the threads. You know, and the reason they don't understand is because they're not being told about the real impacts of leaving, such as companies expanding into other countries instead of the UK, and for what reasons. There is still no national highlighting of these cases. They're all buried in the dark corners of media pages that very few will ever read. The mainstream media is still pushing British exceptionalism, despite the contrary, the evidence to the contrary. Right on cue. As, as just before I'm ready to record this video, what do I see? The Telegraph have published an article. Guess what it's called? Americans say Britain is the best country in the world. It's time Britons agreed with us. For the love of puppies, when will this self-defeating delusion end? But there we are. Those are my thoughts. Let me know yours in the comments below. Hope you found the video interesting. If you did, please click the like button. And if you'd like to support the channel further, the join button for memberships. And until next time. I'll see you later.